Hello, today let's talk about downsizing your photos on the computer, for instance if you want to send an email. After downsizing, also called resampling, the images have less file size, they send faster by email, they arrive faster on the other side and they show up in a good size. The recipient will not see your photos way too large. These are a lot of advantages for a very short and easy procedure. Oh, and my name is Heiko Neumeyer. Let's open the directory with our current holiday pictures. So we click onto the directory Vacation December 2012. Some of these images we will now select, copy, downsize and send by email. You will also see how the pictures arrive at your friend's inbox. To downsize our photos we will use the application XNView, a free application for Windows and for the Macintosh. You see our photos here already within XNView. Here you can download the software xnview.com Let's check out one image by holding the cursor over it. In the yellow box we learn about this single image. The file size is about 4.7 megabytes. That's a lot for an email and we even want to send several pictures. The image has around 3.9 by 2.9 megapixels. That's roughly 12 megapixels. That's way too much as well. This pixel count needs too much disk space, takes too long to email and might display way too large at your recipient's inbox. All other photos in this folder have the same pixel count and thus roughly the same file size. We will now change two file properties in order to get the file size seriously down. We will lower the pixel count and we will increase the JPEG compression. First, less megapixels. Second, different JPEG compression. You could explain it like that. We will paint our photographic picture again, but on a much smaller sheet of paper than before. And we will then fold this sheet of paper more tightly, with more pressure than the original paper had been folded. However, even if we bring down the file size here, our images will remain brilliant and they will look great on screen. And the recipient will get your photos real fast and in easy to use dimensions. To select six images, we keep the control key pressed. That's the command key on the Mac, while clicking the photos. Now, six images are marked. X and View reveals the total file size for those six ones. 27 megabytes. This we have to bring seriously down. Next, click Edit and Copy. Now your computer knows that you want to paste these photos somewhere else later. Let's create a new folder for our email photos. Right click on the drive name, here it is Drive D, and then click New Folder. The new folder appears here and we can instantly type a new name. We will call the new folder Photos for Emails and we will confirm this with the Return key. Then we click the new folder once to open the new folder. You see it on the right side, the new folder is still empty. But here's the trick. You click Edit, Paste. And here you go. The copied images arrive. Now these are real copies. They aren't connected to your original vacation folder anymore. You can downsize or even delete these copies. Your vacation photos will remain fully complete and unharmed. We are dealing with physical copies only. Select all those six pictures by pressing Ctrl A. That's Command A on the Mac. Now that they are all selected, you can again read the total file size. 27 megabytes. 
Let's bring that down. To do so, you click on Tools and then on Batch Processing. Now for starters, two settings are important. You use the Replace option and you use Original Path as Output. This means we change the very pictures we just selected in their very folder. We will not create any more copies because we are working on copies already. As format, you use the usual JPEG, but do check on the options. Here you control the JPEG compression and thus file size and image quality. At first, X and View suggests a JPEG compression of 90. That means very high quality and high file size too. That would be good if you print a double page in a glossy magazine. But here we only want to show off a few quick snapshots. So we reduce the quality to 75. Level 75 still creates very good looking images. But compared to level 90, you save around 30% of file size. Now you click OK. Now let's reduce the megapixels. You click on Transformations. You need the Image section and you double click on Resize. Fill in a new width. Here we take 740 pixels. You don't fill in a new height. Instead, you make sure that the option Keep Ratio is turned on. This means the software will always calculate the correct height for your picture. The resized image will be 740 pixels wide and the height will be appropriate. No matter what kind of portrait orientation or landscape orientation you process. Let me add one thing. The Resample menu should show Landscos. This might create slightly better looking images than the other options in this menu. We are done here. Just click Go. Now the software works on the images for a moment and here we are. The thumbnails actually don't look different from before. But take a look at the total file size here. All six together only 427 kilobytes. That used to be 27 megabytes before. Now this new small size is easy to email. Great! Let's look at the first individual picture too. Do you remember? In its full glory it had about 4.7 megabytes and 12 megapixels. Now we hold the cursor over the image and get the yellow information box again. Just only 81 kilobytes and 740 by 555 pixels only. That's just what we want and need for our email. But so far we have only seen the small thumbnails. We should also check the images at their original pixel size. For that we double click on the first image. And maybe after that you should still click on the button 100%. Now this looks good. No problem to email. And best to know, your friend on the other side of your email will see the photo exactly in these dimensions on his own screen. Press the spacebar to switch through the other pictures of your selection. With the backspace key, you return to the first photograph. They all look good. So now, to see all images again, you click on this tab, Browser. Here we have been before. Now for a change of scene. I've dragged the XN View software a little smaller, here to the right side. In my email software, I clicked to write a new email. So here on the left side, you already see the empty window for a new email to send away my photos. Now I change back to X and View and I drag across all my photos to select them. 
Then I drag all these photos over to my email window. You see, the images are now registered as a file attachment and you can even read the total file size of 428 kilobytes. So now we will write a short email to our friend Hans. Then we only have to click send and the pictures are on their way. And now another change of scene. We will see how the pictures arrive on the other side. Yes, we will be nosy and check our friend's email inbox. He is reading his mail with Google Mail right inside the web browser. Here he has already opened the new email. At first the images appear as small previews. If he wants to see the original, he has to click on display images below. Now the photos come up in a new tab. We can scroll down. They arrive real fast and just in useful dimensions. All because we took the time to scale them down before. Now, to return to your email, you click that tab again. So these are the basics on how to downsize your photos for faster, more convenient emails. Actually, this software XNView offers a whole bunch of options and alternatives for downsizing. And if you'd like, we could discuss these additional options in another video. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope that you gained some knowledge for your own use. And I will remain your Heiko Neumeyer. <laughs>